Hey there, perfectionists. My name's Dilapo, but you already knew that because you're so darn perfect. Um, asking for a friend, how do you do a game review on a game that's not really a game? So yeah, this one's gonna be a little different. Kind Words by Pop Cannibal is more of a social experiment than anything. And as I'm sitting here talking about it, the stranger and stranger the concept seems to me. But before we get started, you should know that I received my copy of this game for free. What I am going to do though is give you the chance to experience the title for yourself. Uh, follow the link in the description below for the giveaway. I'm gonna be doing one of these uh, every Monday until I reach 1,000 subscribers, so make sure to subscribe for your chance to win that week's game. They're either going to be a Steam or Nintendo Switch title as those are the types of games I'm going to be reviewing. All right, now to the review. Normally I talk about the graphics here, but it honestly isn't even worth talking about. The title's visuals are simply a frame for what you'll be doing in your time there. The title, to put things simply, offers real people the opportunity to post their issues, dilemmas, and works to the game. And you can read these letters and reply with words of encouragement, stories of your own, or even advice. First off, everything is anonymous. Even if you send really great advice, the most they can do is send a thank you if they liked it. At first, I was a little perturbed by this. I mean, if someone found my words to be really helpful and wanted to follow up to hear more, they genuinely wouldn't be able to. And then I realized that this title isn't for those of us with issues with ego. Because at the end of the day, Kind Words is about trying to help other people. While it will definitely appeal to those of us with an inner therapist screaming to give advice to literally anyone who listen, you know, people like me, um, I know that this can seem a little bit counterproductive. But, I know that everyone has a story, and experience we have can in some way, shape, or form help those around us. And if there is an application that helps us do that even better, I say there's nothing really wrong with that. So how does it work? Well, effectively, you log in and the mail deer helps you get set up. You set an anonymous name and then you get started. While listening to super chill beats and music, you are allowed to do a few things in this title. You can write back to strangers who have sent letters out asking for help or just sharing their feelings. You can also write these letters. Let's say you are having some trouble fitting in at a new school and you're looking for a way to make new friends. Well, you can send out a letter that says just that and get a few replies from strangers on that situation. I think this will do great things for younger teenagers. Sometimes it's easy to feel like you're going through growing pains alone and that, that really sucks. There's also the ability to send out paper airplanes to others' rooms. These notes are sent out at random as well and uh, usually include little fortune cookie type messages that other players write to brighten your day or encourage you. While these can get a little platitudinous, it still is a nice sentiment. I mean, <laughs> I can't deny that. It's still nice to see you know, a little airplane fly across your room and tell you, hey, have a nice day. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Lastly, the game offers stickers that you can collect and use with your messages. They also spawn little doodads in your room, so collecting them has become a necessity for quite a few people on this app. The title is about as charming as they come. I can't help but feel like sometimes our altruism is blind and we can run into situations that no one can foresee until it happens. Um, I've gotten quite a few letters in my request bin that I feel I have no business touching. Naturally, because it's a place where people can be open and discuss their issues without feeling judged, there are bound to be people who bring in issues that no one outside of a licensed counselor should even be involved with. Things like body dysmorphia, domestic abuse, and depression. While some people have dealt with these issues and would definitely have something meaningful to say, there are definitely going to be people who um, have no clue what they're doing and may sometimes say something that makes the situation worse without actually meaning to. Luckily, you can hit next and skip such letters if you feel as though the subject matter doesn't seem to warrant your help, but you know there are going to be people who don't, and that's frightening to me. The good thing is that Kind Words does offer external links for mental health issues. Uh, it's very easy to report situations that make you feel uncomfortable or if you feel as though someone may be in danger, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Like I mentioned before, this one is probably going to do more good than bad. I can't help but notice that I haven't run into any bullying or nonsense like that. I imagine that the player base is pretty quick to jump on accounts like that. Uh, once again, I think that this will be a wonderful way for younger crowds to reach out to 
people, like other people, possibly older, to help with life experiences. I know that I definitely could have used someone to talk to when I moved from Indiana to Florida in the middle of the school year. Situations like that really suck, and not having anyone to relate or say something genuinely meaningful can be really crappy. The great thing is that there seems to be an issue or two out there that I've been able to relate to on a very similar scale, and I like that. It's not only good for the person who made the request, but it's also very cathartic for the person writing back. Getting thank yous also feels really good. Knowing that they got something of value from your message uh, kind of makes you feel all warm and cozy inside. Like a, like a warm fire in your belly. What more can I honestly say? It's a very interesting title to say the least. Everything about it makes me want to type more and more kind-hearted messages. While I haven't felt the need to send out my own request letter, I can certainly say that I'm not opposed to it. It's really about vulnerability, and I've never really been about that life, especially on the internet. I mean, it's the internet. It's known for hostility. That said, I think it makes it all the more impressive that an app like this could work. I do think that this could use a few more things to help keep me entertained, namely more music tracks and customizable avatars, but I know where the focus lies. I would hate for anything to take away from what the developers were trying to achieve. It's good natured fun, I like it, and I think you will too. And for five bucks, it's at least worth taking a look at. And while you're at it, stay perfect. I'm giving kind words a B. Thanks for watching.